Before we get going, if you've not heard of the Splitgate, then I'll give you a little bit of a brief history. It's made by 1047 Games and was released in May 24th, 2019 as an early access project. At its core, it's an FPS title that's heavily inspired by the Halo series, with very similar weapons and arguably even similar maps. But where it diverges is its unique use of portals. If you're familiar with the Portal series, then you'll probably be very familiar with how this game works. You have two portals, you set them up, and it allows you to traverse through them or even shoot at the enemy. The game recently though has had a bit of a wave of success, and this isn't always been the case. When the game released it had a relatively small player base and reviews were pretty lacklustre, with reviewers saying that it was an average FPS, but it had a clever twist that turned it into a smart tactical team based shooter but what held it back was its bland maps and low player base. The low player base bit however completely turned around after several popular streamers gave it the nod of success, causing a massive 600,000 downloads in the first week of July 2021. To say this caught the developers with their trousers down was a complete understatement. The sheer torrent of players caused the server capacity to buckle at the seams, which led to a whole slew of downtimes and the placement of a new queue system which had players waiting for hours at a time. That being said, the server issue issue has since been released and things are a little bit more palatable. Things though recently have only got better for Splitgate. After a third round of funding, the studio has managed to establish a massive 100 million for the company, stating that this will help carry out their long-term visions that they have planned for the game series. The studio states that they want to bring this title to the AAA tier and be a leading creative force of distinct and inventive IP in the gaming space. The CEO stated, we are far from finished building out what we feel is a complete Splitgate experience for our loyal and dedicated fans. The funding secured from our partners combined with the belief and support of our vision enables us to focus on both our short-term growth needs and more importantly our long-term vision of 1047 games as a premier driver of completely fresh gaming experiences for fans. If you're wondering if it was a big gaming investor that put this huge amount of money then you'll be surprised to find it wasn't as it was a venture capitalist company known as Lightspeed Venture Partners. I did have a brief skim in their portfolio and they have a lot of companies under them, but none of them seem to scream out at me as gaming companies. So if you know more about them, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to see what they're like as a firm. But they did put out this statement saying, in gaming, Lightspeed focuses on founders that have a bold vision of innovation and the determination to build the next generational platform. We found that with Ian and Nick, they do so much with their minimal funding and we're excited to see what they can do with more firepower. We're proud to be assisting them as they take their brand to the next level. The devs unexpectedly seem very excited with the new influx of cash, stating that this means that we can hire a lot more developers, which in turn means we can implement better and more frequent updates to Splitgate. We can add more features that as always originate from community feedback. We can fix bugs faster. We can support much larger numbers of players and we can come to more platforms. Everything is on the table now and the scope of what we can achieve just got 10 times bigger. So it's exciting times to see an arena shooter get some love from a big funder, especially with beloved IPs such as Quake and Unreal Tournament not deemed to be doing so well in the arena space these days. Whether or not this success continues is yet to be said, but fingers crossed for them and hopefully we'll see some more exciting mechanics coming relatively soon. Until then, you can check out the early access game on Steam, and there's no real reason not to give it a try, as it is currently free to play. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think of this. Do you think the game is going to be a success? Do you love it? Do you think it takes too many ideas from Halo and Portal to be original? Do you feel that this is going to go the way of the dodo? I'll be back with more news on this when I hear it, but until then, have a great day and see you all later.